So good evening, Pine Creek Eagles fans. This is Greg Nowlin, and we are here at Fountain Fort Carson and have a little bit of a pregame show for you. We've got the guys warming up on the south side of the field. And we're going to get ready tonight. This is the 30th of July. We're going to be ready tonight to scrimmage Fountain Fort Carson, 5A program here in southern Colorado Springs. Um, in uh, a the actual city of Fountain, and um, the guys from Pine Creek on the northern end of the springs are coming down. Current 4A double champions, so they were champions in 2013 as well as 2014. So it will it'll be some good competition tonight. Varsity will be going. Um, toward the north end zone today. They're going to be dressed out in, in green. Um, the freshmen going to be in white today. So probably the, the JV guys will be in green as well so they can mix up and match. Some of the guys will probably split some time in between both squads. Um, good practices uh, for the most part during the two-week camp. Here just finishing up the summer camp. It's been the second year in a row that we've culminated in, uh, in the nice rivalry with Fountain Fort Carson for the past two years. Um, check that, not last year, but the two previous years, Pine Creek has dueled with uh, Fountain Fort Carson. And um, they uh, basically split um, those contests back in 2012. They ended up losing in, in 2013. Um, Pine Creek ended up beating Fountain Fort Carson at home. So, um, been a good rivalry. It's been something that uh, Todd Miller has wanted to continue. So, thus the scrimmages, even when they're not um, on the schedule facing one another. So, we'll uh, be back here in a bit as, as we see the Fountain Fort Carson group come on the field. And probably about 30 to 40 of their fans in the stands at the moment. And you can see just about the same on the Pine Creek visitor's side here. Even though this is a scrimmage, this will be spirited. My uh, partner in crime, Todd Zeller, will be here as well here in the next 20 minutes. will will be preseason for us as well. So we're still learning some of the guys. And uh, part of the interesting thing is, is many of the guys have practice jerseys that don't have the same number. So we'll... Uh, kind of go back and forth, try to figure out who some of the guys are. And in most cases we'll be right, in some cases we won't. So we'll we'll pick it back up here, here in a moment. So first play of the night, Fountain Fort Carson's gonna take the first series on offense. So it would be first and 10 on the 40. Number seven in motion, short snap. Little shout out to his way. Nice gain, he's out to about the uh, 29. And they'll flip that to be a second down and one. Not sure who was in on the tackle there. Fountain Fort Carson on their second. It's gonna be a handoff around the right side. Nice uh, tackle by Jordan Kraft, number nine coming out of his free safety spot. So that's going to be enough for the first down. They're going to call that and we will pick it up with a first and 10. So it's going to be first and 10 from the 29 going to the north end zone Fountain Fort Carson in white. Looks like he's going to drop back to pass and that's going to be complete down to About the 16, it looks like. Colin Willis on the uh, coverage there. It's a nice snap. It's going to be a give up the middle. And it looks like uh, JoJo Doman, wearing number seven, he'll be 12 during the season, came up on the stop. But um, So welcome Todd Zeller back to the mic here. He's going to have our play-by-play -play here. We're here. Round to the left, he is gang tackled there. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, Taylor Clifton, number 34, in there. Case and Allen was swinging through, and what do we got? It's going to end up being uh, third and about 10. So we're back in action this here. This is uh, third and 10 from the 16. Man in motion. The quarter, quarterback rolls to his right. He's being chased by about three people and comes up incomplete. And I bet you Case and Nolan was just wishing that he had caught that because he didn't like to thump, <laughs> thump that one pretty well. All right, so we're lined okay. back up. What do you got here, a fourth and 10? Fourth and 10. Man in motion. Shotgun, he's gonna throw. He throws into the end zone and it is incomplete. So Colin Willis, number 17, a junior, off that left corner, nice coverage there. That would have been a spectacular catch. Would have been yeah. one-handed. So just off his hands. All right, so they yeah. uh, stopped him for the first drive. So I think they're probably going to go 10 offensive plays. It's first and 10 at the 40. <clears throat> Quarterback's in the shotgun. He hands it off, and he is buried. So 34 is in there. Looks like Nathan... He's congratulating him, number 33. I didn't quite see who had the tackle, but nice job on penetration there. That, that's about a five-yard five loss. loss. Good. So it's second and 10. They're going to be at the 40 again. They're, they're not counting the loss of yard. Shotgun rolls to the right, and he dumps it off, and it is intercepted, I believe. Yep, Colin Willis over there on the corner. Um, number 17, the junior. He's got his first interception as a corner. Uh, nice job. Trying to dump it off to the tight end or and uh, it's a no go. So it's uh they're gonna start again first down, 40 yard line, shotgun. And they're gonna hand it off to the right, and that's gonna lose the uh, four yards again. So Jack Wibbles gets off the pile. I see uh, Joe Habrolf has his helmet off, number 39 one of the ends and it looks like defense is going to leave so no score for fountain fort carson the first series okay so pine creek starts uh first and 10 at the 40. kind of a pistol formation they're going to go deep and he's going to be in bounds but he didn't get it's, it um it he looks did, like oh, he didn't get it. Jojo Doman um, along the right side. There's pretty brisk wind right now. Yeah. So that may have. Well, I had thought he to threw it one. quite a ways out of bounds, and then I thought Jojo was in. Okay, so it's second and ten. Pistol formation. He's going to give it to the right, and about five yards. Yeah. So that was DeAndre Tolliver, number two, senior, on the carry. Um, nice Third pickup. In five yards. Quarterback under center. He's going to hand off to the left right, left side, and that he's almost going to get it. He's going to be about a yard short. He'll probably go for this in the preseason here. That was uh, Gabe Zarkovaki. Gabe uh, did a nice job last year at this scrimmage and then got hurt before the first game. It's going to be fourth and one. 31 yard line, hands off to the right, and that is DeAndre Tolliver, number two. And he's gonna have it. He's gonna, probably about six, seven yards. Nice, nice run right up the middle. He's out here to the left. Um, so it looks, that so looks. Number one. And we'll apologize, guys. We're, uh, this First is preseason for us too, and we don't have any rosters today. So it's gonna be handoff to 21. Yeah, so Gabe got all the way out to the 20. And they're going to give him a uh, good five yards. Yeah, progress to the 20. <clears throat> All right, so we got Peter Isaias out to the left, number four. On the right, looks like it's probably number eight. Second down and five. Quarterback under center. They're going to give it right up the middle, and that's going to be stopped for pretty much no game. Can't see who that got handed off to. So they've got a lot of... And I'll pick this up on the next so it play. Looks like we've got uh, DeAndre Tolliver in the backfield. I think Connor Miller may be up at the uh, fullback spot. Third and five. And JC. <coughs> that's going to be complete, and it's going to be close to a first down. Yeah, it looks like there might be two short. 
back out so you can see the uh, sticks a little bit and we'll go on to the next play. So fourth and one. And JC Coulter, sophomore under center, he's actually in shotgun, but he's going to give it right up the gun. And that's going to be DeAndre the, Tolliver. DeAndre the Tolliver, it's going to be a touchdown. Nice job. He, uh, from the 15 yard line, fourth down and one, he took it in. It's going to be first down and 10 again at the 40 yard line. Shotgun position. We've got Joey Long, number 40, brother of uh, Sam Long, the All State guard from last year, back in the backfield, protecting uh, JC Coulter. It's going to be second down at the 40 yard line again. Got JoJo on the left there. And he's going to fade back the pass. It's going to be to, to JoJo in incomplete. So now, Fulton Fort Carson's got the ball first and 10 at the 40. And I'll try to keep track, Todd, if there's 10 plays. Nice yeah, handoff off the a, other. Off to the right hand side, and they've taken it all the way down to the 24 yard line. It's the so, running back, and I'm not sure who was in on the tackle. So it's first down, 25 yard line for Fart Fountain Fort Carson. He's going to hand it off to number 22, take it around the right side, and get dumped for about two yards. Yeah, so that was Case and Nolan, and number 22 potentially coming in on that one, Joey Bassett. That's going to be second in nine, eight. He's going to pass, and he's going to the end zone. And it is broken up nicely. Yeah, Colin Willis puts his hand in right at the end. And uh, he's... That was really nice. He'll be finding a new spot over there in that corner. Okay, it's third and eight and a half. And they're in that kind of a pistol. And they're, they're, they've, Fountain's got a guy that they're putting in and putting out and they're a little confused. So he's gonna roll out here to his left and he's got, he's gonna be dropped. Was that a double uh, that was way end? Back. Yeah, that was. That was both the ends. Joe Abrolf, number 39, and then Jack Wibbles helping him finish that up. So it's first and 10 back at the 40-yard line after the big sack. And Fountain's in that kind of pistol formation. He's going to throw, and Wibbles was in his face again, and that's going to be incomplete to the wide out. Again, that's a second one that somebody's dropped it right in front of 30 who wanted to lay some wood. So that brings us to a second and 10. Same formation. They're going to hand it off to the right side, and he's dropped immediately. Good so hit looks, by Nowlin. And it looks like Joey, uh, Joey Long, number 40, had had him kind of stood up and Kaysen number 30 comes Whopped in him. and pops him with his right shoulder. It's going to be third and 10, 40 yard line. And Fountain Fort Carson's in that similar position and he's going to throw, split out to the right side and just not anything going on over there. That He's maybe a one or two yard gain. Nice job by Connor Miller, number 26, is playing, I think, the Mike linebacker and got in on that real quick. 44. Um, now that's, a, 44 I believe is a sophomore. I think his name is Johnny, he's a homeschooler. And I, I think that was probably about 80% of the team on the stop there. Yeah. He's getting up. Joey Bassett, number 22, is getting up. I think Joey Brolf got in that one as well. So we're first down and 10. So Shot. really, this series hasn't been much of a progress for Fountain Fort Carson. I think no. they're still. They handed it off to the, or no, they faked. And the quarterback kept it for no gain. Yeah, right Jack up the got in there, number 22. 66, a brand new player for us this year. Christian is a sophomore, big kiddo in the middle. So. It's going to be second and 10 from the same 40-yard line. Shotgun position. 
they're going to give it off to the left, and that's going to be strung out by... So that's Kaysen and number 11, maybe Christian or Chris Pinkney. I'm not sure who number 11 is, but that was a nice finish to the second series on defense. Yeah, another another tackle for loss. So the Pine second. Creek comes up, first and 10, 40-yard line. Quarterback under center. And that's going to go right up to the right-hand side and for that about... Was that was Gabe Zarkovaki and for about a yard. Pine Creek's second and nine pistol formation. And DJ Oh DeAndre again. DeAndre Culver. Tolliver. Tolliver. Man. <laughs> That's okay, but looks like he just picked up a, a first down. Yeah, it's about 10, 12 yards. Looks like Pete Isaiah's on the left. It's first and ten from the twenty-eight. And it's going to be another handoff right at the middle, and that's going to be Zark. Yeah, Zarkovaki picking up about three yards there. In fact, that snap almost went right to him. And I'm telling you, if that if that guy wouldn't have made a nice tackle, he would have. He'd still be running. So we're about second and eight, 26 yard line. Quarterback under center. He hands it off to the right, number five. Who should be a junior. And he gets about Terrell. Five, six yards. That's gonna bring us to a third and five for Pine Creek. JT's kind of in that pistol. Got some motion. Yeah, JoJo coming right at us. JC Coulter is going to step forward. He still's got enough nice. presence of mind. JoJo puts on a move, and that's going to be a touchdown. Wow. That's a nice move. And that was a nice move by the quarterback. Yeah, JC Coulter, presence of mind as a sophomore to, to get out of the pocket, tuck that, and put that up there was fantastic. And we've got number six spread, spread to the to Back the left. to the 40 after the touchdown. First and 10. JC's back to pass again. Doesn't have quite, and that, he, yeah, he doesn't have a lot sacked. of space back there either. It looks like <laughs> he, he ran, ran into, into a coach. I think he ran into a couple of his players too. Okay, well, it's second and 10 again from the 40 after the sack. They're gonna hand it off to the right side and this is Tolliver. Yeah, so DeAndre, about five yards. Yeah, he's probably got about five to eight yards per carry so far. So that's going to be third and five from the 35, and uh, JC's right under center. They're going to fake to the tailback, and the defensive end has got him for a lot big sack. It was right in his face as he uh, turned around. So it's the first and 10 at the 40. And JC's in the shotgun. He's got Joey. Uh, there's a penalty, a legal procedure on Pine Creek. I was just about ready to say, I will pick that up next play. It's first and 10 again from the 40. And it's a bad, bad snap, and that's not going anywhere. I think Miller kicked the field goal with that one. Yeah. Looks like Joey Long still back there. It's going to be second and 10 from the 40. JC's under center. And he gives it off to the left side, and, and Zark is tackled from the back. Yeah, uh, Gabe looked like he didn't have any uh, where to go on that one. So it's first and 10 now for Fountain Fort Carson. And uh, they're going to throw off to the right, and that's going to be complete and breaks a few tackles down to the 28, 29 yard line. Yeah, it looks that's, like uh, Holden. It's a nice little play. And um, and Bo together on that one. And Jack Wibbles comes all the way from his D in spot to add to that. So mixing it up a little bit on defense. Some yeah. First and 10 at the 20. Nine yard line, they're gonna give it to the right, 
give it up the right to the running back, and he's uh, taken out by number seven. Jojo. At about the 20 yard line. So that's a good nine yards. That's going to make it second and one at the 20 yard line. And Fountain for Carson is in the shotgun. It's pretty much all they run, and they're going to hand it off right up the middle, and he's going to be stopped for a good three or four yard loss. Yeah, that was Nathan Leithhead, Leith and that looked like Bo Epperson was coming through, kind of a tail end of that as well. Third down at the 20 yard line, third and one, and shotgun position for Fountain. And they're gonna give it right up the middle. Oh, Ooh, he is hit. Who was that? That was, that was Joey Bassett, number 22. Wow. <laughs> I think he, he got the first down, but not anymore. Pretty. Yeah, that last play was a really nice change of direction. <laughs> first and 10 at the 18 yard line for Fountain. They're moving the ball a little bit. They're gonna throw into the end zone. And it's in and out of the hands of the receiver. Number three on the coverage. Yeah, Travis Meacham was uh, content to stay with him. And it was pretty close to a decent attempt there. Second and 10 from the 18 yard line. Fountain's gonna give it right up the middle. And he's gonna be, he's gonna get maybe two, three yards. Kind of a team tackle there. Yeah, and big 66, Christian's in there again. He's going to be a tough one to uh, to move out of the way. Okay, it's third and seven for Fountain. They're going to throw it. They're going to go almost the end zone at number 17. Yeah, Colin Willis again on the pass Is defense. Is that him again? Yep. That so was he's, a nice play. So he's got one, and then he's knocked down at least three. Okay, it's going to be fourth down mm, about six six or seven yards. They're going to throw it. He's going to roll to his left quarterback, and it's uh, pretty much up for grabs, and it's incomplete. Okay, so that's going to move Fountain back to the 40-yard line, first and 10, and they're in the familiar Shotgun, he's going to throw it out here, a screen pass to the left. and Should have been DeAndre's side, that is, number two, DeAndre Tolliver. Connor Miller, number 26, coming over to help. That was a good tackle. Second down and five. Man in motion, shotgun, and they're th they fake that screen, and they're going deep. That's going to be out of bounds. Yeah, DeAndre... Nice coverage, but the uh, sideline was that. And that's going to do it for that series. And so the two, there's two middle linebackers. There's four linebackers. The um, way you explained it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that when we're back on D. First and 10. Back at the 40 for Pine Creek. JC's in the shotgun and he's gonna fake it to the up man and flip it back to Tulliver. And he's gonna get maybe a yard. Yeah, that one didn't didn't stretch out as well. Okay, it's second and nine for Pine Creek. Shotgun for JC. Man of motion and they're gonna, he's gonna fake it up the middle and JC's gonna keep it. He's gonna get about two or three yards. Ah, nice decision for him to run, get out there and mix it up a little bit. So that's going to make it third. Third and six. That pistol. And it's going to be a quick hitter that... That Peter, Peter didn't know was coming. Was that Peter Isaiah? Yeah. Yeah, you were saying on that last one that that was the first play that looked like it was a scrimmage. Yeah, fourth and six, and they're going to hand it off to Zark. And he's got, he's only got two or three yards. Yeah. So didn't complete that fourth down. Over. Yeah, there was a penalty on that last play, but it's just worth resetting. First down of 40, 
or on the 40. JC's in the shotgun. And he's going deep. And he's open. Oh, he's got a man. And that's Mr. Jojo Doman. Jojo gonna, Doman. Nice good. pass. Crap. Temperature's not bad. Yeah, that was, that was the uh, third score for Pine Creek as they've been reset and doing about 10 plays of offense at a time. It's first and 10 from the 40 again. They're going to give it to. That's Terrell. Terrell? Yep. That's all I'm going to give you right now because I'm searching for a last. <laughs> Terrell, a junior. But that might not be for the season. Second and five. And faking the handoff and JC's rolling out. He's got a man. Is that Zark? No, that's actually Connor Miller. That was, that was nice catch. That's so gonna be third and one yard to go from about the 31. Yeah, that last play, he showed a lot of presence, Todd, in the grasp of a defender. It's gonna be a short, quick hitter here with nice play. Yeah, DeMar down to the 20. DeMar did a nice job, big target. Good job, just a quick throw in the pocket. Now we got, we're back to first and 10 at the 20 yard line. JC's in the that pistol. He's gonna throw and he's going to the end zone. And he has got his man number one. Nice job. The sophomore. A nice catch. Nice. He just threw it up there for him. They uh, connected quite frequently last year, Todd, from the freshman squad. First and 10. We're, that'll be a touchdown Pine Creek. Four touchdowns for Pine Creek, zero for Fountain. And uh, we're back to the shotgun from the 40, and we've got half the defenders in the backfield. So it's going to be a penalty on somebody. Yeah, they're, they're going to call it on D. It's on them. 24 split out here wide. JC's in that pistol, and uh, Pine Creek's going to take it right up the middle for not really anything. So that was Terrell again, number five. And Terrell's going to have to be careful of He's starting to go forward. So that's going to be second down. Five. And uh, JC's in the shotgun. And they're going to hand it off to Tulliver. Now, this is actually Gabe's Zark. Zark. Yeah, sorry. That's Zark. Yeah, Gabe just got across or around the corner there. That's that's what we thought his potential was tonight. And that was nice. Nice nice show there. Good good block on the edge there. I'm not sure who the receiver was out wide left. I'll try to work on the line here. We got Tanner it's Toussaint. First, first and ten. That tight ends switching sides. In the shotgun, JC's fakes the handoff, and he's going to go to the end zone, and it's going to be a touchdown. Wow, that's a, that kind of like a back shoulder fade, and um, that's the third, um, I no. think, on this series, is it not? Yeah, number 24. Yeah, that's Holden. It was a uh, – the defender had no idea. Well, so far I'd say uh, our sophomore quarterback – J.C. Coulter is having a nice nice job of it in the air tonight. He's thrown for three yeah, and five touchdowns. we got to be coming close to our 10th play again. Handoff right up the middle. And that's going to be for a loss. Okay, so we're back to second 10 from the 40. And shotgun position, he gives it. Oh, he keeps it. And oh my he's goodness. going right up the middle. Nice play. He's down oh. to the 17 yard line. Wow, JC Coulter, the sophomore, almost added another touchdown to his at least three or four in the air. So, Todd, we almost had a little bit of flashes of number 10 from the last couple of years on that one. So, we got it first and 10 at, we'll make it the 17 yard line. Pistol formation, and JC's going to throw again. 
He's got some pressure on and he's, oh, nice catch. Number six, he's still on his feet. <laughs> wow, Demar goes up and gets it. Wow, that was that was really nice. And that's exactly where they're hoping that he can fit in as a big, tall target. Think about six, six one, close to six two. Yeah, I think JC was super happy to have a big, tall receiver that's willing to go up and grab that one. So it's first and goal, about the four yard line. They're going to give it to Zark right up the middle, and that's a touchdown. Ah, that's actually Connor Miller. Oh, it is? Connor Miller, who oh, yeah. did just such a fantastic job blocking for uh, Josh Odom last year, rarely got to touch it, and um, shows that he wants to get into the action as well. So Fount Fountain Fort Carson is back offensively on, and they're going to throw it, little screen out to the right, and he's dropped immediately by number 44. Four. Yep, and uh, and then number 45. So we're getting into numbers that I'm not sure of yet. And we've got a lot, quite a few sophomores on the on the field right now. It's going to be third and ten. They're going to give it right up the middle, and he's still going. So that's going to be about a 15-yard gain. Not sure who 17 is. I think he's one of the sophomores. Pretty excited that he got in the action on that one. First down for Fountain, it's now 25 yard line. First down, quarterbacks directing traffic and here comes the shotgun. And they're gonna hand it right, oh it's no, gonna the, the quarterback's run. gonna keep it. That's gonna be a touchdown. It's a good choice to keep that on there and he had nice blocking downfield. So Fountain scores the first touchdown. It's gonna make it a first down and back at the 40 yard line. Back into the shotgun, double wing. And they're gonna throw it and it's gonna be dropped. Uh, again, another easy drop. That's gonna make it second down, still at the 40, still in the shotgun. And the offensive line just moved. Yeah, I think they're gonna stay. So they're gonna keep it at second and 10. Shotgun. They're gonna, the quarterback's gonna keep it and get about 10 yards, nine yards. So it's third and about a foot for Fountain. They're gonna stay in the shotgun and here it goes right up the middle. It's a fumble. It's a fumble and it's recovered by 36. Yep, and that may be a Rolf. I'm not sure if that's Joab's younger brother and apologize if that's not right. And now that I'm looking at him more, I don't think that is correct. So we'll figure that out during the season. So they're they're calling it third down now. It's going to be a throw out to the right side and number 17 brought him down, but that's going to be a first down. So that's going to make it first down from the 26. They're going to, quarterback's going to keep it, go right up the middle. He breaks a tackle, gets out wide, and decides go. to live to fight another day. Yeah, it goes out of bounds at maybe the seven yard line. Good it's gonna run. be first and goal from the seven. Pistol, and they're gonna throw it. And he catches it, but he's out of bounds in the end zone. He's kicking. Uh, Joe. Oh, really? Oh yeah, he did it last year, didn't he? Yep, he's done it since freshman year. So we may have another quarterback. We do. I'm not sure who 19 is. Pine Creek takes over in the 40-yard line. Oh, I line. do. I know that's Zach Leithhead. Zach Leithhead, he pitches it out to the right to number 18, who 
I think it's Thomas Dantzler who uh, invites the entire defense to come meet him. So second and five. Zach's right under center. Uh-oh, there's a fumble, and he picks it up himself, and is held for a little bit of a loss. So that's going to be third and five again. Zach's under center. And he's going to give it to DeAndre. I think that's Thomas Dantzler, number 18, the sophomore. His dad, an Olympic wrestler. Yep. And he took a big hit on that one. He did. That was a first down carry by Pine Creek. So now we're going to be first down on the 29-yard line. Yeah, we're definitely testing the depth here. And they're going to hand it right off the middle, and it's going to be about a two-yard loss to number 16. Second down and 11. Zach Leithhead waits for his wide receiver to get in the game. And he's going to fake to the tailback and take it himself for about a yard loss. It's going to be third and 12. Zach Leithhead under center. He's going to give it right up the gut, and not much is happening. Maybe a yard. It's going to make it fourth and 11. We've got four split out wide, shotgun, fourth down and 11. Let's see what Zach can do here. He's gonna go deep and the wide receiver's wide open for a touchdown. Zach Leith had. Oh, and they're gonna call a penalty. We should just stop filming right now. Yes, we should. As far as levels and yeah. Okay, it's back to the 40, first and 10. They're gonna give it to the right, number 17. He's gonna get maybe five yards. It's gonna make it second down and six yards to go. Pistol formation, Zach Leithhead takes it. He's gonna fake the handoff and fumble it and big loss. Yeah, just too quick a penetration with probably the number one defense against our JV guys. So Fountain's going to take over again at the 40. We've got a new quarterback. We've got a new running back who is running well all the way to the 21 yard line. It's first and 10, 21 yard line. New, co new quarterback for Fountain. He's going to throw it to the right. And it's going to be caught. Second down and one yard for Fountain. Or nice little two plays. Quarterback's going to throw it and pick up five yards or so for a first down. So that's going to be first and goal from the eight yard line. Fountain set three, nice plays. And they're gonna run it straight up the middle and that's gonna be a touchdown, I believe. Now they're coming in on the spot just prior, it looks like. Almost a touchdown. The above. It's a second goal. Fountain's gonna run it right up the middle for a touchdown. That's the second touchdown for Fountain. Uh, back to the 40 for Fountain. And quarterback's going to take a long, oh. The receiver wasn't able to pull it down. It's a long bomb by Fountain. Incomplete. Second down, 40-yard line again. Shotgun again. 
They're just going to hand it right up the middle. Nice play by the defensive end there. Didn't get a number. Third down and nine. Fountain takes the snap, and that's going to be tipped by the defender. Defensive lineman. Nice play by 50 54, was it? Six. Okay. Fountain's got four split out wide. Shotgun motion. Fourth down. He rolls to his left, and he's going all the way deep, and he's going to overthrow. He was wide open, but overthrew him. So Fountain is still still in business. 40-yard line, first down. The quarterback's going to roll to the right and just kind of throw it out. I think that might be a P.I. on 2-7. I mean, he kind of shoved him out when... They didn't call it. No, number four is not real happy about it, but I kind of see why. We'll, we'll go on to the next play. So Todd looks like they're uh, going to be lining up here for the for the handshake. For the, yeah, for the handshake. So kind of, if you think back, what was it? Ended up being about six to seven touchdowns to to, to two to two. So Pine Creek had a good outing. Seems like Coach Todd Todd Miller pulled pulled his starters there. And I think, you know, he's got to feel good that JC is, you know, did well as a backup. It's always to know, nice to know you've got that. And the defense is pretty dominating. Yeah, I mean, you've got your top four tacklers in uh, Nathan Leith, uh, Jack Wibbles, Kaysen Nowlin, and JoJo Doman. Um, they're spread pretty evenly out over the field. And uh, so that's going to be helpful to have some strength in most of the areas. They're, they're looking like they're doing a couple more plays here with the freshman guys um, against maybe the JV. I'm not sure if that's the freshman group on the other side. Probably is. And uh, <laughs> it looks like he stays on his feet, gets down inside the 20. But, uh, yeah, no, I think it's going to be a, a good good year, and we'll see if they can get a third one. Yeah, it's, it all starts now. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for uh, being with us. We will be your hosts for many a game during the regular season. And, um, again, we'll, we'll see if Pine Creek can keep up to its winning ways. They've got 25 4A victories in a row. And we'll really? see if they can continue. Wow. All right, so over for, and out. For Todd Zeller and Greg Nowlin, we are wishing you a good evening. <laughs>